everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. <laughs> Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. I hope it's going well for you. Um, today we are doing a little bit of a mixed bag, um, all in part of um, Summer with the Masters 2023. So this will be the week four video of Summer with the Masters. So we're halfway done with this awesome event. I hope everyone's enjoying participating or following along. And I always want to uh, suggest sharing your progress on your whip if you are participating over on Instagram using the hashtag Summer with the Masters 2023. You can also share your progress over on the Diamonds and Emeralds Facebook group, and I'll make sure to link that in the description. Um, but yeah, so Summer with the Masters, we're halfway through the event. Week four is my week to put up some content. And um, what I decided to do is I want to take us on a little bit of a field trip. So we're headed to the Denver Art Museum here in Denver, Colorado, where I live. And we're going to see if we can hunt down any old Masters images there at the museum. So um, we're going to be doing that. Um, the way it works there at the Denver Art Museum is since I am just, I just have a personal vlog or um, personal use, I can uh, record and take images of approved, um, approved paintings or artwork that is being displayed. So it'll have a little sign letting me know whether or not I'm allowed to film or take photos of said artwork. So I might not be able to do like a walking tour where we're walking through the entire museum. I'll have to stop focus on that one approved image. That way I'm not accidentally catching something that isn't approved in the shot. So I've got my mic with me. This mic allows me to record uh, audio independently of video. So um, they, it, they don't have to be together. So what I'll be able to do is probably walk around a little bit, take fi pictures, take short videos, um, and still be able to speak to you the entire time, even as I'm walking around. So um, I don't know how I'm going to cut all this together. This is this this setup is a little new to me. Um, I have done a museum tour previously on my channel, but um, I was able to walk the entire thing. I didn't have to chop and change stuff around. So, um, but yeah, other than that, I do have a couple other things planned for when this is all um, when the tour is all done or the walkthroughs done. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing and maybe some other stuff as part of this vlog, but we also will need to get to um, chatting about our uh, winners from my week two video, those giveaways, as well as um, chat a little bit about the, um, the giveaways or prizes that are going to be on offer for this week. So. We'll cover all of that stuff, but first, let's head over to the Denver Art Museum, see what there is to see, take a little peek around, and hopefully we can find some old master's images to chat about. Let's go! Okie dokie, so here we are outside of the Denver Art Museum, and um, I don't have my mic on just yet. I'm going to get in, pay for my ticket, and then I'll get all gussied up, but it's a really cool building. So, and then straight ahead of us is the Denver Library. And then we have kind of like the art hotel and a convention center kind of thing over here. But this is the, this is the museum. So it's a little windy, so I might have to try to clean this audio up, but let's go inside.
just got to level six European art before 1800. It is very quiet up here, but I took a quick peek and it's exactly what I was looking for. So um, you may just get some music with this one. Um, I'll try to cut in with my voice here and there. I'll keep recording myself, that way I can interject with stuff <laughs> as we're looking at photos and things, but it, it, it is very quiet up here, and so I'm gonna try to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and uh, cruise around and look at some, um, some European art before 1800 falling specifically in that old master's um, genre. So let's take a peek. in with um, just a quick clip we're still in the um, it's the American West I believe is the floor we're on and this particular room just has a bunch of gorgeous images Thomas Moran I love this it's a very small image but all the detail it's very cool see some some of our favorite uh, landscape artists for diamond painting seeing a lot of maybe influence but this one here this is Estes Park Longs Peak which we can go to we can actually drive near here <laughs> uh, by Albert Bierstadt amazing I'd love to do that one it's huge
Okay, so we I just left the American West uh, exhibit. Well, I just stepped out here into this terrace that I found um, just to get a little sun, a little air, um, show you kind of the Denver, Denver skyline, I guess, at least a portion of it. Let's see if we can see more up here. So this is... Yeah, this is the top of the building, like the tippity top. Uh, yeah. City and county building. Let's see if you can see the Capitol building. Yep, there's the Capitol building. There's the city park. can see our little, we've got like a little amphitheater down there, and then some fountains over there. But yeah. Uh, um, I got oddly emotional. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Weird tangent, just a little kind of where we're at right now. That Western, this Western gallery hit a little bit different than I was expecting. I didn't realize that we're, we're going to see so much, um, artwork from, you know, 1800s, um, early 1900s, um, that was, you know, painted on around the time, you know, when the West was being expanded upon and settled. And so some of the imagery was, you know, more tragic than I would have imagined or that I guess I wasn't ready for or wasn't thinking I was going to see today. Um, and all of it still, you know, for the purposes of the, the Summer with the Masters event are all, you know, quote unquote old masters, but not of the European side, which um, was just, you know, we, I guess we just don't see it. I, I don't see it that much in uh, diamond painting or haven't seen a lot of people focusing on maybe uh, this region um, for the event. And it makes me really think that maybe next year um that's something that i need to look into or maybe even sooner than that there's a couple images in particular that just just felt so so familiar in a way um you know i live here in colorado so i see the plains and the mountains and that's what a lot of that stuff was focused on and so seeing some of these landscapes and these vistas that i've seen in person or similar um, done in, you know, 1860 or 1870 or, you know, 1910, um, you know, in that era and seeing, seeing it just depicted in that way was just a little bit more, you know, real and close to home. So I got a little choked up. I was like, this is crazy. And, and I think the other thing that it just, it completely changes, um, things when you are, oh, it's really smoggy today. Um, when you are seeing the artwork in person is you can see the brush strokes and you can see the texture and the dimension and it just adds another level to just seeing it online or seeing a picture of it, you know, uh, being able to, you know, see that that dimension um, is just really, really cool. And it just it just brings the artwork to life that much more. So. I'm so glad we came and did this together. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let me, um, I'm going to see if there's anything else I can snap some photos of um, here at the museum. I want to check out that there's a, I think it's called like um, Asia in art or something. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just going to hold you right here. You can look at the city while I fuss. Um, Arts of Asia on level five. I'm going to go see that and then I think I'm done. Um, and we'll go back to the house and probably unbox something um, that I have sitting around. And then we'll talk all about giveaways and prizes and that type of stuff. So if I see anything on the Art of Asia floor, then I'll snap some photos. But expect just to have more music um, as opposed to me cutting in and interjecting. Um, just see some music if there's anything. Otherwise, uh, we'll head back to the house. Okay? I hope you...
Dokey. Oh my goodness. It's it's hot. It's hot and I'm sweaty. Woo. Just walked got back to the car from walking around the rest of the museum or at least a part more. I mean, there's so much to look at. I could have spent all day in there. Um I snuck into a couple more exhibits. I saw the Arts of Asia exhibit which had some gorgeous stuff and then the um the Native American one um, was actually really surprising because, um, I mean, gorgeous pieces, but there was a whole section, I snapped a few photos, a whole section for Spanish art in America, like the Spanish American art. And so right back into that kind of old masters, more like religious style um, artwork that I kind of what I, I mean, I knew existed because a lot of it's religious based. Um, so, I mean, I've seen that in my own life going to Catholic church as a kid, but I just, I guess I wasn't really thinking about that, that area for that style of artwork. So it kind of threw me for a loop and I was like, ah, oh, I should film another clip. And I was like, this is already going to be too long. Um, I'm just doing, um, just rehydrating the skin, getting some more sunscreen on. So bear with me, but I wanted to just jump in and, and mention that, that I was kind of um, pleasantly surprised and reminded that there's the that style of artwork from, you know, 1600s, 1700s um, to be found um, in Latin America. So, oh, okay. More sunscreen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little trip. Um, I, I took some more photos and videos of the, those last two exhibits and then I went over to their cafe. So they have a, a formal restaurant on one side and then just like a little grab and go place on the other. But, um, they were soup. They were, they weren't super busy, but they, they seemed a little stressed with the couple people that they did have in line. And I didn't see anything that I wanted. I just, honestly, I was hoping to find some kind of like pressed juice or a smoothie and they didn't have any of that. They just had like, you know, ocean spray, whatever was just bottled. So I wasn't too keen on that. So I'm going to find some sort of juice or smoothie on the way home. I've been on this like pressed juice and smoothie kick um, for the past few weeks. So I'm going to grab that and then we'll get back to the house and we're just going to chat all about our giveaways. I'll announce the winners. Um, and then I've got a really quick unboxing that I want to do as well, but I don't want this video to be crazy long. I don't know how long it's going to end up being incorporating all the photos and everything, but, um, I wasn't trying to keep you for ages and ages by any means. So, um, okay. So let me get back to the house and then we will, um, we'll talk about some summer with the masters giveaways. Let's go. All right, everyone. So we made it home. I got myself a little mango smoothie, which was very refreshing after a hot day. But we are here just to kind of wrap things up. I want to talk about this week's uh, giveaway winners and then talk about um, the prizes that will be given away the next time. So um, if you remember on my week two video, um, 
I was giving away a Distracted by Diamonds kit. This is Composition Monumental. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and put the winner of that prize up here on the screen. So go ahead and take a look at the screen. Okay, I'll leave that up for a second. Take a look. That is our winner for the Distracted by Diamonds kit Composition Monumental. That'll be shipped out to you soon. Um, congratulations. And then for our second gift, uh, we uh, were giving away a tray and minder set from Emma Amazing Craft Shop or Amazing Craft Shop. It's E-M-M-A Zing, uh, her name and then Zing. Amazing Craft Shop. So this is a tray and minder set themed for Summer with the Masters. And the winner is, go ahead and take a look at the screen. Da, 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 da. Congratulations, you won that tray and minder set that will be shipped out to you as well. Be sure to be patient and um, have some grace with the shipment times and stuff for these gifts. Our sponsors are doing, uh, doing their best to get stuff out in addition to their regular business, so just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that is the um, announcement or the, the winners from week two. And so what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to talk to you about what I have on offer, or what's going to be given away uh, for this week, week four, which will be, and the winners will be announced on six. So I'm two, four, six, eight, and then... Um, and then Katie is one, three, five, and seven. So keep that in mind. I'm not announcing winners for Katie's giveaways. She's not announcing winners for mine. You'll see the winners every other week. So um, the, the prizes that I'm offering up, I'll announce the winners for. So keep that in mind. Um, so for this week, we've got three awesome gifts that are gonna be up for grabs. The first of which is a $25 gift card to Diamond Painting Shop, which is awesome. The second prize that we're gonna be giving away is a, a kit from Jaded Gem Shop. This is The Vine, which is an old master's kit. You can head over to Jaded Gem Shop. I'll make sure to leave a link for um, all of our sponsors. There's a Google Doc that has all of our sponsors. So you can go in and look for that kit. It's called The Vine. Uh, from Jaded Gem Shop. And then our last gift is going to be a gift card from DP with sparklers. So those are the three giveaways that I have um, up for grabs and those will be announced on week six. So the next time I put up a Summer with the Masters uh, every other week video. So keep that in mind. Um, all you need to do to participate in the giveaways is fill out our entry or kind of sign up form. Once again, the Google Doc will be linked in the description box of this video. So you can pop over there, um, fill out that form, and that is going to register you for all the prizes for the entire event. It's a one and done. The only time that you might want to redo that form is if you have a change of address because your giveaway, should you win, will be sent to the address you list on that form. So if your address changes between now and July 31st, um, you're going to want to make sure to update that. Otherwise, you just fill it out one time. Um, and the same it, it's the same form that Katie and I are using. So you don't need to click on Katie's link or mine. It's We're all in it together. So um that's kind of all I had for that, but I wanted to wrap up this video with just a quick unboxing. Um, it's just a single item, so I figured I would sneak it in somewhere during our Summer with the Masters content. And I talked about Amazing Craft Shop, and um, you know, somebody this week won a prize, a tray and minder set. But I was uh, keyed into the shop by Katie over at Diamonds and Washi, and. Um, I decided I needed to snag something. So I figured what better time to kind of show and tell what I got than after announcing a giveaway winner um, from this shop. So let me take this off camera. I ended up getting a um, an organizer. It's like a tray and pen organizer. And so I wrote Emma, um, it was a custom order, so you can do custom trays and custom pieces on her Etsy shop. And so I ordered that, and then in the comments, you're supposed to leave kind of what style you would like, what colors you like. Um, that way she has kind of an inspiration on what to go off of. And so I was like, you know what? Anytime I do these custom 
orders from shops, I like to let them try to like have a little bit more creative freedom rather than me saying just pink or just whatever. So um, yeah, I ordered a Mooney made tray one time and I said, make it, you know, send me some colors based off of your shop and what you like. Um, and then the same with Jaded Gem Shop, I ordered a, I ordered a diamond painting pen from Jaded Gem Shop and I just said, make it representative of your shop and maybe it could be jade themed, whatever you want, whatever is a cool, good representation of you and your shop. So I got a really cool uh, diamond painting pen. So for this one, um, sorry, it's just taking a minute to open. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I'll tell you the inspiration here in a second, but I'm gonna get out what I would, uh, might be, might be shipping information or my address. So I'm going to pull that aside. I got some, a little nifty gifty with some candies in here. Oh my gosh. Are these those melon candies? They are. They're so good. Classic series. These are so good. I forget exactly which flavor they, what flavor it is, but I think it's a melon and they're delicious. I just had one of these the other day when I went to the pho restaurant. Yay. Okay. And then, oh no, I got some extra goodies in here. Oh, how awesome. It's a diamond with like gold flakes. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Katie has this. She better have this. It's like rose gold flakes, a diamond, and it's been made into a cover minder. How cool. Katie, you'll have, if you're watching, you'll have to let me know if you have one of these. If not, I'll send this to you. This is this that's giving me Katie vibes. <laughs> and then, oh, another little cover minder. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. It's another little diamond and it's like a turquoise. How cute is that? Awesome. I love these. And then you've got the little baby magnet. Oh my gosh, those will make perfect cover minders. Okay, so I've got those. And then we've got uh, some sort of thing in rainbow <laughs> and then the, the cloud in rainbow. Those are both really cute. This is giving me some kind of Sesame Street vibe, but I'm not 100% sure. If you know what that is, you'll have to tell me. A couple rainbow stickers. Awesome. Perfect for Pride Month. Okay, so I do have a invoice here. Um, so custom pen holder. Um, I'm going to read the note from the buyer. Um, or that's me, sorry, from the seller. Uh, hi, Anthony, thank you so much again for your custom order. It was a blast to make. I hope you love it. Have an amazing day. Um, let's see. Um, wow, okay. And then, cool. She said that she threw in something in there. So for being a Summer with the Masters co-host. So let's take a look and see what we've got in here. Let's see, I'm gonna set this aside. Resin care instructions, store in a cold, dry place, ex avoid extreme heat, avoid contact with smoke, hand wash only, not dishwasher safe, and magnets should be removed by sliding, not pulling, and gently reattaching to, um, to the other embedded magnet. So um, when we're talking about the cover minders and stuff, rather than just pulling straight off, it's better to slide them and slide back on. That way you're not accidentally pulling that other magnet off. So let's see what's in here. So keep in mind, the only thing I ordered was the pen holder. So I'm very curious as to what we have in here. Are you ready? It says, thank you on it. You ready? Flip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, no way. Okay, we're gonna get to this here in just a second. But this is a cover minder that has Soul of the Rose from John William Waterhouse on it. Oh my gosh, it's like got a frame on it too. How cool, that, that magnet goes with that one. So it's like an embedded magnet here, slightly embedded, and so you wanna be careful when you're lifting and pulling it. I love that it's got a rose in the, in the resin too. This is stunning. How cool is that? It matches my Soul of the Rose. I might have to give this to my uncle because that's who I gave Soul of the Rose to, my finish. So awesome. How cool is that? And it's nice and sturdy and thick too. This is nice. Okay. And then, so this cover binder, I believe is a little lead into 
what we're going to be looking at when we open this, just from the color palette. But this is a beautiful cover binder. Okay, so what I did is I was on a hike the um, a few weeks ago, and I was... Um, on Mia's live and I was listening to her live and I was like, oh, it's so green and pretty here, even though it's a little overcast. I'm going to take some pictures and send them to you. So I took a couple pictures to send to Mia because she was like, oh, send them to me. I was on a hike with Apollo and I decided to order from Amazing Crafts um, Craft Shop shortly thereafter. And when I wrote her, I was like, let me send you a picture and use the picture as an inspiration for um, this this uh, tray or this pen holder. So whatever colors you pull from it, whatever styling you pull from it, and it was just a picture of the mountains as me and Apollo were hiking, and it was just a gorgeous day. I was like, I'm curious to see what Emma is able to do given the inspiration of a photo as opposed to like, I just want something blue and green, you know? So I ordered this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? I got a little sneak peek of it on Instagram. Um, she posted it on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So it looks like it's wrapped in wax paper and tissue paper, which is really awesome. So nothing sticks to it. Holy moly. Look at that. And I'm gonna insert a photo, the photo that I sent her as inspiration so you can see what I sent to her, but it, it looks so good. The blend of colors is incredible. This looks so good. It is nice and thick and sturdy. <gasps> look at the look at the silver flake. I mean, it looks like almost, it kind of looks like trees going up to a sky or like mountains up to a sky. How cool is that? There's the underside. This is a hefty item. This is sturdy, sturdy resin. So. I believe this is big enough to fit a couple trays in. Um, you could put some putties in here and then your pens on this side. And then look, a little matching cover minder to go with it. This is incredible. I wanna see what a tray looks like. Perfect, so this is a this is my larger Mooney made tray, so that fits in there well. Um, I don't have any putties out, let's see. I've got a couple different putties here, let's see. So yeah, you could put them in that way, you could put them in, put them in like that. Awesome, and then your pens. Of course I have to try to put a pen in there. So I've got my amethyst pen from Enablers Outpost. I mean, come on. Oh, yay, okay. I love it, I love it. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect. And the color, I just love that she was able to like pull inspiration from a photo and create this awesome resin piece with like the gold flakes, or I'm sorry, the uh, silver flaking in it, little bits of glitter just to add some dimension and character. How much fun. So yeah, and the, the matching cover minder is such a nice touch. I love that. So I'm gonna just pop that in there for now. How cool is that? So if you are um, in the market for pen holders, custom trays, um, there's some really cool cover minders, a lot of different stuff there over on Amazing Craft Shop. I highly suggest you go check it out. That seems like a really high quality resin piece and you'll probably see, you'll probably be seeing it featured in some upcoming Instagram posts and whatnot. So, and then look at this, the Summer with the Masters cover minder. How could you not? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing craft shop. Awesome. All right. Well, um, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching through. And um, oh, I didn't even say this to enter in the this week's giveaways. Um, you need to have filled out the form, like I said. And then I also need you to leave a comment on this video. Please leave either your favorite museum that you've ever visited or if you aren't a museum buff or haven't visited one in a long time, maybe one that you hope to visit someday. So either your favorite museum or a museum that you hope to visit someday, please leave that in the comments. Don't include any words like giveaway or anything like that because people um, outside of you know participating in the event or um, people that aren't uh, diamond painters will kind of 
uh, scan YouTube for uh, keywords like prizes or giveaways and just enter in everything and anything. So try to avoid um, those words. Otherwise, like I said, your favorite museum or a, a museum you hope to visit at some point. And then I will be um, pulling those winners' names down on, just looking at the calendar, I will be pulling those names on the 5th of July, and then they will be announced on my next video, which will be the 8th of July. Yep, perfect. So, um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Thank you so much for watching and happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.